I've been pondering what to teach for yoga, like first, because there's so much and it is the most, it is one of my favorite, it is my favorite, it is actually, that is such a hard choice to make, my favorite thing that is in existence is yoga. So how does one <laughs> distill something that just is cosmic and not feel one imposter syndrome and two like where do you start so it is with much overthinking <laughs> shall we start with our foundations um so mountain pose tadasana it is with humility and for some reason this ipad pen in my hand <laughs> Uh, we begin at our foundation. So this pose is actually, I would say, one of the hardest poses besides like Shavasana. Um, standing, because your bones have to be stacked. And that's honestly one of the many, but main points of asana practice is alignment. And your body is just all of these levers and pulleys that are muscles and ligaments working and wrapping around your joints. And it's kind of like actually perfectly, so this is sort of a good way to imagine your core. <laughs> and everything is pull, pulling to the center point. I can imagine all these lines just being the different structures and levers and pulleys of our beautiful cosmic bodies so to stand still is actually really hard so we will start by just grounding your energy and taking three full breaths and you'll notice automatically the body starts to lean back so as you exhale, just lean into that sort of trust fall and we close your eyes and just start to bring your awareness down to your feet. And imagine like roots, you're really just, you're going beyond the floor here when I say feel into your feet. And start to feel the bones spreading, maybe lift up the toes a few times. When you press the toes down, try and individually feel every little toe pad. And this might highlight some sensation in your ankles and your arches. Without judgment, just literally take a moment to feel your feet. You can relax the toes, but start to bring your awareness more into the arch and lift that arch by pressing into the edges, the outside edges of your feet and see how those connect. And maybe pronate and push into the edges and kind of play in between so you find a nice balance of the inside and the outside edges of your feet. And then put that all together for a moment, press into the toes and press into the insides and the outsides. And very mindfully start to just draw a line into your heels, down the back of the legs, starting at the hips. Just feel the back body for a moment and try to observe where your ankles are in relation to your heels. Are you sort of tilted off to one side? Or maybe you're very balanced. So when you hear yoga teachers say, press all four corners of your feet into the mat, this is what it means. To really press the whole foundation of your foot down and then draw that line of the arch connected to the inside of your kneecaps. 
And then just adjust, maybe your hips are starting to want to find a better equilibrium as we intentionally press into our feet. And then draw that line from the knees and lift the knees by squeezing the fronts of the thighs and connecting them into the fronts of the hips. And then maybe just place two fingers on the front of your hips and just see where they are in space. It helps to connect the thumb to the top of the hip. And then you can sort of see where the pelvic bowl aspect comes into play and see if your bowl might be spilling forward or backward, right, or left, and just try to take a moment to equate, pressing the hips forward just a bit and dropping that tailbone down. I'm feeling really sturdy in your foundation. Connect that back to the feet. And we're just building our awareness from our foundation up our bodies. Very slowly, very intentionally, very mindfully, and you'll find you actually might even be sore after this. <laughs> and so now we connect our awareness from our feet to the fronts of our hips and start to draw everything into that core as we exhale. And then take a big breath and breathe down into the hips as if to stretch the front of the body, the chest, the shoulders away. So you're making space, you're really sending the breath anywhere that will reach and then maybe notice again as your body will naturally press more deeply into the heels and open up the front and then draw that line from the core up and into the chest and feel sort of radiating expanding spreading across the chest and then down the arms relax the hands but face the palms forward if they're not already and then take a big full breath and keep that shape, keep that space, that openness in the core, the core, but send the corners of your shoulder heads in the opposite directions. So just take a big breath from the inside out and try and stretch the whole center of your body open. Now hold that space and just cinch the ribs in back to the front and exhale all that air out. And find a couple of these, and you're just wrapping your ribs, your whole core around the spinal cord, the front and the back. And just continue to grow, drawing a little bit of space and doing every vertebrae, but you're moving from the inside out and you're just using your breath to do it. Now press into the feet as you do this and activate your entire body. Every little muscle has a bit of engagement as you inhale and exhale to rinse, cinch everything, pull everything into that core. Now imagine the shape of your diaphragm. It's sort of this little mushroom cap that splits in the middle, but it breathes up and in to the chest. So connect to the shoulder heads and as you inhale, imagine you're breathing up and in and out those shoulder heads. And then exhale, bring everything into that core. And find a few of these. So you're, if you can imagine, if you can see the energy, right? It's going shh, up and out. And you're just growing a little taller as you inhale and exhale. Drop the hands to the side and then send your awareness just up into the chest. Make a little bit more space by finding the chin parallel to the floor. And imagine your big brain and try and place the skull right over that C7 vertebrae, that big knob, knobby guy back here. Feel free to touch and feel your own body, your own neck. And then see if you can just relax your head on every vertebrae there under. <laughs> and just try to stack your bones for a moment head to toe scanning from the floor, from beyond the floor, send your roots down and then receive from the floor up just a bit of momentum carrying that 
out the heart, out the throat, out the crown of the head. So you're equally grounding, you're pressing down, but you're also lifting. And so that is the balance of yoga in any pose. Everything is slightly activated. You are pressing always into foundation, whether you're on your hands, your hands are on the earth, or if your feet are on the earth, whatever is closest to the floor or the mat or wherever you're at, that presses down and everything else starts to just lift. So this is Tadasana Mountain Pose. Congratulations. We humbly take our hands into prayer and honor this beautiful sacred practice where we can gather together and just feel our bodies and connect to what is beyond our bodies. So however this finds you, I'm sending you so much gratitude. Namaste.